Hello everyone, welcome to San Jose, California. We are here today to meet a group called the California Native Garden Foundation. It's an innovative educational nonprofit that is literally transforming the landscape about how people understand environmental stewardship and sustainability. And I'm here with the founder, Alri Middlebrook. Alri, tell us a little bit about CNGF and its mission. California Native Garden Foundation was founded in 2004 by a group of people that saw a need to continue to educate the people of California about the value, the techniques, the technology of gardening with native plants. And as part of the innovation through CNGF, Alri and her team offer grants to local schools to build gardens just like this one. And they created a very interesting program called ELSI. It's the Environmental Laboratory for Sustainability and Ecological Education. Very good. <laughs> ELSI, the project that we're sitting in, is the model where we work out the technologies here the teaching, the lesson plans, and then we share all of our knowledge and skill set and our interns uh, with our partner schools. Now one of the real innovations that Alri has built into the ELSI program is that the six learning components of the Living Laboratory also function as generating revenue to support the program itself. We charge for our services to design and build native gardens for private clients. That's one. We have a native plant nursery where we sell plants to the public who what want to do the gardens themselves. We also sell or donate to schools to create more uh, native gardens and school laboratories. You know, at, in our partner schools, we have 40 partner schools right now. We are anticipating uh, a vertical farm here. That's one of the reasons we're trying to raise money is we can produce 20 times more food in a vertical farm than we can an equal amount of land that we would till and grow food crops on. So that's a big revenue producer for a school uh, to perpetuate this outdoor classroom. This site has already been recognized uh, by the Sustainable Sites Initiative and they have selected uh, 17 projects in the state of California that are exemplary of how we actually work to create a sustainable landscape. And so once this certification is finished, this pilot pro project is going to be finished in 2012, we will have the ability to teach other people, other landowners, other municipalities how to bring any property up to a sustainable level. And there's one more exciting component and that has to do with the yummy part of food. <laughs> We're going to have a restaurant here on the campus, right? Hey, okay, yes, the old Victorian house there, that's going to be a restaurant and the name of the restaurant is called Eating California. And we will be growing uh, hopefully about 70 to 80 percent of all the food that is served in the restaurant right here on this half acre in downtown San Jose. Now this beautiful native garden nursery that Alri and her team have constructed is in the seat of Silicon Valley, which has driven technology and our culture for the past 30 years. Could you explain why you see the technology community supporting ecological technology in a program such as ELSI? I'm glad you asked that. I think the technology community in Silicon Valley, which has created so much wealth here, really does have an obligation to give back, to bring things more into balance. There is so much innovative work, science being developed, soil science, uh, technology for growing food uh, over structure or a building, a vertical farm, aquaponics, hydroponics, and, and that as the next generation moves forward, they have a sense of ownership and protection and engagement with nature. So the seeds of LC are being planted in the present? Yeah, And they're right going here. to bear fruit in the future. <laughs> For more information, you can visit cngf.org or to support and participate in the Living Laboratory, go to lc-gardens.org.